What? What is it? You gotta be quiet because I'm recording. Be quiet! Will! Sorry. You gotta be quiet. Everybody, good morning. So, first of all, I want to start by saying hopefully, when this video is uploaded and edited and on YouTube, I will have had a thousand subscribers. So, first of all, thank you very much. I love you all, um, and I really am going to try and be a little bit more consistent with my videos um, because I'm not very consistent with my videos at the moment. Um, so, today, as you can probably read in the title, and like I mentioned in my last video, today is what I eat in a day, a full day of eating for Tom, um, for anyone that cares. I'm going to give back to the fans. A bit about you know me is recently I have lost a lot of weight. My mother said, you look ridiculous Tom, you've lost so much weight, it's ridiculous. So that's a way of saying you've lost weight, so that's good. Good old Sal. The weight I've lost, I believe myself personally, it's good weight. Like, I feel like I genuinely get naked and look in the mirror and go, good. <laughs> so I'm, I'm happy with the weight I've lost, and I play rugby and stuff, so I feel a lot, lot more agile, I can move my head quicker, I can pass the ball quicker, so it's all good and I'm happy. I lost nearly a stone, I used to weigh around 87 kilograms, and now I'm down to about 80, uh, and that's the size of a baby elephant, so how's he done that? Don't worry, I'll tell you. First of all, my main point is, I don't weigh my food, I don't count my macros, I don't do anything like that. Um, it's very doable, it's very reasonable, it's very balanced, it's very chilled. Um, and with that, I've managed to lose seven kilograms. Groovy! My main point I would say is understand your body. Everyone is different. Some people have brown hair, some people have blonde hair, some people have no hair, but everyone is different. So what it is, is just understanding what works for you. So play around with your portion sizes, okay? Today I'm going to show you what I eat, so you can take some take some ideas off me. Um, if they all look ghastly, then just say jog on trotter. But you know, if you like any of the ideas, it's all really really simple to do. So um, right, I'm going to stop talking. Let's cook. Let's do it. First, okay, breakfast is my favourite meal of the day, and I do eat quite a lot. So I'm not saying you need to eat this, but it's an idea, and this is what I eat. So normally I would wake up in the morning. Go for my 10k run, you know I like running if you follow me on Instagram. So I'll get back from my 10k run and I will eat a lot for breakfast. So what I will do, as I say, I do not weigh my food. So I will go with oats to start. So splash of milk. Perfect. I'll go for green top and I shop at Tesco. Can't quite afford wheat trees yet. And literally porridge. Microwave, three minutes is a belter. Watch this juggling, ready? Four eggs, and don't be silly. So, we're gonna have four eggs, we're gonna go for one yolk and then three egg whites, that's what I have. Last egg going in. With my four eggs, I always have a wholemeal pizza, so. Cool, so. If anyone says they don't have time for breakfast, that is rubbish, because this egg has taken about 24 seconds. The porridge is now done. Ah! And I'm literally Gonna throw on some, this is my favorite thing in the world. So I literally throw on a handful of grapes, frozen raspberries, because then the heat of the porridge oats melts the raspberries, but they've still got that nice chill to it. It's divine, so, okay? Numero one. Honestly, it's my favorite meal of the day. So we've got a whole meal pizza, four eggs, one yolk, three egg whites, half an avocado, sprinkle of oats, splash of milk, raspberries and grapes. Very simple. And then you've had that and then for your day you're sprinting to the office, you've got your tie on, you're sending emails, you're feeling good. Perfect, so that's meal number one. 
Okay, so next, uh, I would normally go, after breakfast, I'd go to the gym and do a gym session. Um, so I'd finish having breakfast about nine, go to the gym till about half 11, two hours, I'd probably get back within two hours. And then around midday, as soon as I get back from the gym, I'll have a protein shake. So that is literally two scoops of whey protein, okay? So that's my next, wouldn't really call it a meal, it's more of a snack, just because I'm starving after the gym, so I've had a shake. Um, and then about half an hour after my shake, I'm feeling hungry again, so then I will have my sort of, I'll have my lunch. So let's do lunch together. Right, so as I said, lunch is next. And I'm using chicken breast here, but you can use anything. You can use turkey mince, you can have fish. I normally just try to have a good source of protein, like a good meat. But today, you're lucky, we're having some lovely breast. I like a breast. If you're working in the office and you know you need to you need to cook a couple of meals because what I'm doing here is I'm cooking separate meals and that's going to be a bit time consuming. But there's no reason why you can't you know whack in a few chicken breasts and that can be a few meals. Um, it's just a little bit more convenient. Whack them in Tupperware boxes and there's no excuse for not eating healthy. So today I'm going to do two meals worth. So I just normally do a breast a meal. Um, so that's perfect, like so. Basically, chucked on some chicken seasoning, very lovely. I'm going to put on a splash of olive oil. It's going to taste sexy. So, as I say, I've preheated the oven at 200. It's going on. Bene. That'll be done in 20 minutes. Right, so that has been exactly 20 minutes. And. Can we just... Ah. It just looks good. So we're not just having chicken and veg, we're going to also have some wholemeal noodles. I have this with it as my carbs. They literally take a minute and a half, so you need to boil the kettle. Um, and then portion wise, I literally just have a little, I just chuck it on. So I, what I chucked in the pan was two of these, so they come as set batches. I literally chucked in two of those in the pan and two of the little batches, which are 100 grams, are adequate for about three meals worth. So I've got one meal, two meal, and a bit left over for my final meal, which we'll cook in a bit. Um, but yeah, so that's literally as simple as that. We'll now plate up. You know, if you want any more veg, courgette, spinach, anything, colours, get it on. I'll have one of those meals about half an hour after my protein shake, after my workout, and then about three hours later, at about three o'clock in the afternoon, I will have this one. So, the final meal of the day is very, very simple. It's a healthy, very sexy, lovely bolognese. Me, the beef mince that I got is the stuff from Tesco's. It's the beef lean, 5% fat. Uh, so all we've got here is beef mince, chopped up onion, mushrooms, a bit of bolognese sauce, chopped tomatoes, and a bit of seasoning. And then the rest of those noodles that we cooked with the chicken, we can have with the bolognese. So it's easy to do. So all we're gonna do... An amount of beef mint, I will literally just go that amount. Boom, boom, boom. That's how much I have. I could not tell you how much that is, but that's how much I'm having. So, as you can see, I've had about that much of the pack. Right, this mint has browned off sexy beef. Now, I'm going to have a bit of this pasta bolognese sauce to it. But basically, they're normally full of quite a lot of sugar, so I'm not overly strict, but I don't need to use a whole pot of this, so I've, I've still got a lot of mints left, so I'll make another portion of it tomorrow. So I'm literally, with this, just a little splash, a little splash of that, whack that in the fridge. And then, again, same with the chopped tomatoes, basic chopped tomatoes, a few of those, 
So that, you know, I'll go over. Half a tin left. So there's enough for the rest of it. That is more than enough sauce. Okay, you don't need any more sauce than that. Mix it all around. Okay. It tastes lovely. Okay, so we're literally gonna chuck some of that in. That's all I'm using. Simple, simple, lovely. Bit of salt, bit of pepper. We had left from the chicken earlier, which we can use as the carbs. Like so. And then, this belter is a nice big portion. I love food. This is this is my last meal before I go to bed, so I like to fill up. I've had a hard day training, I'm doing my run, I've done a gym session, I've had a sweat out on Call of Duty, so I need to replenish my energy. So this is a big meal before bed. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna whack it on like so. I'm gonna chuck on a tiny bit of spinach as a side, as a side dish, like so. And that is a belter for me. That is my last meal of the day. Capiche? Does it smell lovely? Yeah. Hungry. <laughs> Would you just look at the sexiness? Um, but yeah, so what I eat in a day, these are my meals, we've got our breakfast, we've got a post gym shake, we've got two meals within a day and then the last meal of my day. What are you saying? <laughs> Here's William the cameraman, he hasn't eaten all morning. <laughs> you go and enjoy them old boy, you eat them. Guys, thanks ever so much for watching. Sorry it wasn't the most funny as I just mentioned at the start. It wasn't the most funny, humorous, but it's a little bit more informative. Uh, that's what I eat in a day. I'm not saying that's what you should eat, I'm just saying that's what I normally eat. I do mix up the meats and stuff, but um, yeah, I hope it's given a bit more of an idea. And sorry if you don't even care, but uh, I love you all. Keep subscribing, like, and I will see you soon with another video. Ciao!